What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be adding jet propulsion to this RC car right over here. Check it out. Now the main issue with these RC cars is that their electronics are absolute garbage. So their range is horrible, the motors are super underpowered, and the battery life is absolutely awful. So my original idea was to just replace the power system with a brushless one and make it more powerful, but... I thought it would be more fun to just slap an EDF into it. So you may ask, where are the electronics? Well, the answer is... I put them where they belong. In the trash. See, going into this video, I didn't know if it was doable or not, so I had to make sure that this wasn't beyond my capabilities. So I went ahead and unscrewed this entire thing, ripped the electronics out, and, you know, here we are. So what I hate about all these RC cars is the, the way their steering works. So they have this really crappy system, but the steering motor goes full power, when you want to turn, so there's no proportional input or anything, it's just full on. Let's just yeet that out of here. So what I'm gonna do is attach a servo over here, so it can turn the wheels like that. Now in the back, there's actually a gearbox right over here. There's also suspension. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. So let's uh, take apart this gearbox and see what's inside. Surprisingly, this actually has a differential on it. Now, unfortunately, this motor is absolute trash, so we're gonna have to just yoink it out and just remove un any unnecessary bits from the gearbox. Now it's time for the hard stuff. First of all, I need to figure out how to set up the steering. Alright, so I finally got the uh, servo mechanism figured out. Sadly, I couldn't get any of the footage for the actual making of this because my battery died in my camera. So the servo is over here, held by zip ties and double-sided sticky tape so you know it's legit. Um, this rod over here interacts with this axle and the two wheels are actually interlinked with another control rod right over here. So let me just add, let me just put this thing on and I'll show you it in action. All right, now it's time to strap on the EDF. So the chassis is now complete. As you can see, I've got the electronic speed controller there, receiver over here, and these wires are gonna go towards the EDF, which is gonna be mounted to the body. So let's get right to it.
All right, so the car is completely built. Now I think it's time for some testing. Let's get right to it. So I guess that worked. I thought this was a good idea, but as you can see, in reality, it wasn't very feasible. That's simply because of the tolerances on these things. There's too much play in the steering, so it would never actually go straight and I couldn't adjust it. Also, it would lose control completely when you'd go fast enough because the wheels would be doing absolutely nothing. So even if I were to turn them, it would just slide through. Another problem was the uh, suspension. There is simply not enough travel for the terrain that this was on. Every time it hit a bump, it would just jump up and lose control. At one point, it did hit a bump big enough to actually flip it over, and that's when the fan exploded because it hit the pavement, which is kind of sad because I have to order one now. What I would have done differently with this is actually use like a proper RC car chassis so it'd have more control over it and possibly have either a front wheel drive or an all wheel drive system in this. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like it and comment what you thought. I would love to hear some input from you guys. If you have any project ideas, please let me know in the comments. I'm always willing to try out something new. And if you want more content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notifications because I will be uploading more often now. So that's that. See you next time.